D Rock here. Welcome to the channel. Jen is with me today. Hello. Her first time on Lake Mead. Is it gonna happen? Oh yeah. It's gonna happen? It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Here we are folks. Springtime. It's like, it's like the actually, second day of spring. The second day of spring. <laughs> Winter's over. Kinda. It's still cold. But we're at spring. Water temperature at launch is 56.5 degrees. I expect it to get warmer during the day. We're at a window here. Yesterday the wind was howling out here. Today it's saying moderate at 14 miles per hour. And then tomorrow it's going back to above 20 miles per hour. So we saw the window, we're here. Hopefully we can connect. Back on Lake Mead, springtime. Let's go get them, yeah? Be great. All right. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. It really helps us out. Let's ride. Bit of a shot to start out with. I only anticipate the wind to get progressively worse. So hopefully it doesn't get any worse than 14 miles per hour. So we launched at Echo Bay. Air temperature at launch was, what was it, 43 degrees, yeah. Still a little chilly. Again, spring. What will it bring? Bumpy, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So we're gonna start. Graph is our friend, of course. And 60 feet of water here, and just ride around a little bit. See something there? See if we see anything, and get some lures in the water. So I don't have downriggers, of course, so I can't get really deep. We're gonna move between 60 and 40 feet of water. Just graph, maybe go shallower, maybe go deeper. But we're gonna try two different lures here. This is a shad wrap, Rapala. This is a hardcore shad. I think this is made by Yuzuri, it doesn't say. But I've had some luck on this one. We'll see if this one brings anything. They're both in kind of a bronze, orange craw pattern. That seems to work, but you know, it's fishing. <laughs> one day could be different from the other. So we'll start with this and move from there. Temperature is 57 degrees. Uh, so the high today is supposed to get 69, 70 degrees. And then, like I mentioned earlier, there's a, a front moving through. The weather said 40% chance of rain tomorrow, gusting winds, so I don't know. Maybe that'll affect fishing. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Do you know, was there any moon up last night? Do you recall? There was, I don't think it was much. Yeah. All right. Now the game begins. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some stuff on the graph now from 55 feet up to 25 feet. We're seeing fish on the graph, but as you all know, seeing them and catching them are two different stories. All right, trolling has brought us nothing, so we're gonna try. Jen's got a spoon on, I've got uh, a white grub. We're just gonna jig a little bit in the shallower water. If anything happens. That's what I'm using right there.
Jen's using a uh, white grub and I'm using a jig with the chunk on it. So, well, we're in about 15 feet of water, letting the wind just kind of push us along. Alright, back to trolling. There's got to be a fish in here, Jen. Oh, there's fish. There's a little chilly. It'll warm up yeah. in the afternoon. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. It's a move. All right, so we come out of the deeper water, 60 feet, and we're gonna use some deeper diving lures. XD here, Jen. You've got, I think, the Strike King there, too. I don't remember what it's called. And I've already hooked myself. Nice. Well, the water temperature's up to 58.3. Getting warmer. There's a bunch of little things on the graph. I know, we're seeing lots of stuff on the graph, but. Connect. You got a hit? I did. Really? Ooh. Right on. That's encouraging. So far, it's been a bust, huh? Nothing. Oh, Jim got one hit. I guess that's better than nothing, though, huh? Nice calm patch back here, huh, Jen? Mm -hmm. The water is chocolate milk. So we're in about 20 feet of water. We already trolled through this area. We saw something and some structure on the bottom. So we're going to chill here for a minute and maybe try for some crappie in this area it looks looks pretty good huh mm -hmm. and we're almost at 59 degrees water temperature so the morning is progressing right along all right jen's rigging up for some crappie we're gonna try a little slider like that what do you think jen yeah, maybe, maybe? So I've gone to a smaller white grub. This is four inch curly tail. And we're just kind of kicking it back here in this cove. If there's anything back here, one thing we know that's back here are carp, huh, Jim? There's something <laughs> I prefer to think it's carp rather than they're just not fighting with it. All right, we're gonna go back to trolling for a bit. Here we go, trolling, jigging, graphing the routine. Routine. So you've had two hits? Well, that's better than nothing. I'm switching to a deeper diving lure here. Jen just got two hits. Let me see yours real quick, Jen. On that one. So I'm going to the same one. It's just a little bit of a different color. And we're going to make another pass. So, so hopefully it's going to happen. Well, we're back to seeing things on the graph. And we have a lures out. It's not for lack of effort, is it, Jen? All right, we're going to get a little closer and have a look. There's a whole line of trees. That'd be excellent habitat for crappie bass. So we're gonna roll up to it and give it a shot. Lots of brush in the water there. It's not too deep, but uh, we're just gonna let the wind push us up in there and we're gonna do some casting. Hopefully something's hanging out.
Yeah, where we are, it's about uh, five feet of water. You guessed it. Max trolling. All right, well, it is noon and there isn't a fish on the graph. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, Jin's had some bumps. I've had some bumps. That's it. What do you think, Jen? I think I'm going to need to have a Coke or take a nap. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but the day is not over yet. No, the day is not over yet. We'll continue doing what we're doing, and hopefully we'll find some fish. Or catch some fish. We found fish. Yeah. We've seen lots of fish. We just haven't caught any. Fish one, Jim? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right on. And then it hit again. What do we got? Oh. No, it's not. It's a crappie. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, how about that? Oh. <laughs> he hit on that big old lure. <laughs> what? That's a big crappie. <laughs> wow, good catch, Jen. Yes, thank you. Look at that lure. That's what <laughs> Jen caught the crappie on. There we go. <laughs> Look at that slab. That nice slab. catch, Jen. <laughs> 50 you. feet of water, she caught that. <laughs> How about that? All right. He's ready That's to go. It. Off he goes. Good catch, Jen. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well, Jen, that was that was pretty. That was awesome. That was. I'm pretty, a little. Pretty great. Kind of dumbfounded. I did a uh, crappie in 50 feet of water on a big old jerk bait like that. <laughs> I mean, I guess stranger things have happened, but wow. Right on. Lake Mead, you never cease to surprise, right? Hmm. Describe how it hit again. Well, it barely hit, and then just a split second later, barely hit again, and then it was on. Wow. So I, I wasn't sure at first. And then, yeah. well, all right. Can we get another one? You know what this means, right? It means the skunk's off the table. <laughs> So I'm gonna switch to another XD. This one's black silver. This will get down deep, 15, maybe 20 feet. Jen's got the majority of strikes on her lure, including, well, that crappie, which is crazy. So hers is pretty shiny with the black back. So see that fish came up right there. Wow. Anyway, see what happened. Your lure just got slapped, huh? Yeah, just about lost the rod. Oh man. <laughs> came around that point about 60 feet of water we were fairly sure there were some striper stacked there and then her lure just got smacked oh we have to make another pass oh, well y'all know what time it is that's right jen i think you earned some chicken well one fish in the boat thus far jen with the crappie i'll take it i will take it me too yeah not even two o'clock yet. No, I know. Here we go, folks. You know the story. Time to get our chicken and hot sauce on. <laughs> mm. Homemade chicken nuggets, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right here. What's the plan for the afternoon, Jen? Catch more fish. Yeah, okay, that sounds <laughs> great. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. It's finally warming up. Water temperature's over 60 degrees now, so maybe something will change. We'll get some action. Because that was a tough morning. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna grab some lunch and get back to it. All right, 
Back in the water. Yeah. Breaks over. Time to make it happen. <laughs> So where I found Striper the last two trips, did not find him on this trip in that area. So I, they either moved or they got fished out. I'm just thinking they probably moved because the weather's starting to change. So now we're back to the drawing board on where the Striper go as we move into a different season, right? I've never fished meat in the springtime or summer or fall. <laughs> just a winter, you know. Let's just say it's going to be interesting I'm trying to figure all this out. So it's a good thing we're keeping the expectations on. I'm glad you caught that crappie. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't get skunked. You just got to hit. It's so bizarre. They're smacking your lures and not getting hooked up. How do you avoid treble hooks like that? It's crazy. That's good that you got to hit. Man. Tough, tough day of mead. They're on the end of my finger now. What was that? It's a fish scale that came off my hook. Fish scale? I've had that happen to me too. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there I can was see one it. on there. There was one on there. Man, it's dead calm. Wow, I thought the wind was going to howl. Nice. Yeah, feels great. Anyway, we're going to take a break from trolling and we're going to switch to some uh, Ned rigs and toss them in from 20 to 40 feet off these rocks and stuff. Maybe, maybe we can get something to pick it up. All right, here we are. Let's give this a shot. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> Grueling day. <laughs> Grueling day. <laughs> man, oh man, what a grind. Jim, fish on. Nice. Oh, get up there. Let me get in there. What do you got? Oh, keep it down. He's that might be a largey. He's raising heck. Yeah, big mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's it is a largey. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There he is. Oh no 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 no! Get in front of the motor. The motor. <sighs> Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Good job, you've saved the day. <laughs> I've saved the day. That's true. Take wow. a look. Jen. That's pretty big. That's a nice that's fish. A yes indeed. <laughs> well done. Thank you, thank well you. Well done. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to keep going after that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, I think this is gonna be the final pass, huh? What a grinder of the day, but we stuck it out and Jen brought in a nice largey, so naturally we have to do one more pass and then one more pass after that, one more pass, and maybe one more after that one, because you never know. But, our day is about wrapped. Yeah. That's a wrap. All right, there you have it. Lake Mead, early spring. This is right at the end of March, huh? Yeah. 
Still pretty chilly out here. Water temperature got above 60 degrees, barely. Hey, what's up, 61 maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fishing, whew, what a grind, man. Must be payback for my last two trips. However, Jen, on the other hand, yeah. got her first fish on Lake Mead. Crappie and a largie, not yeah. bad at all. Pretty exciting. Well done. <laughs> Very nice. Man, striper, no show. Sad. That's fishing for you. What are you going to do? Folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for sticking with us and supporting the channel. Tight lines. We'll see you next time. Do you rock out? I'm out. Adios.